All right, today we have a Cat D3 bulldozer and the hydraulic cylinders are leaking, all five of them. So we're gonna replace those. I'm gonna make a little video on some of the process or most of the process on how this is done. I have actually never done this before, but uh, we're gonna try it out. Okay, so this is a Cat D3 and we're uh, basically uh, gonna replace the seals of the hydraulic cylinder. The first thing I did, which I already did, was I had to hammer this to get this thing to move. And that was after I took this little screw out here. There's a little tiny screw, hex head uh, screw that goes in here. You first have to loosen that. And then I hammered it here to actually break this loose. And then I used my chain wrench around here, like so. I actually had to put a bar on this. And then this thing comes loose. Like so, I still have it attached. I didn't detach it yet. And then, this thing I'm gonna loosen up some. Not all the way, because I wanna pull this thing out. The uh, piston. And in order to pull the piston out, I have to loosen up these, which uh, I need a bigger wrench. It's a three quarter. Let me go grab a bigger wrench. So right here is an example of another cylinder that I had a video of. I'm showing you actually what I did here, how I hammered it and um, checking it out here to see if it is uh, loose. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm looking in the little hole where the hex head screw was to see if I could see if it was it moved at all. Um, doesn't uh, not sure if it moved. It's hard to tell. So I connected my chain wrench on there and pulled, and it really didn't seem to budge. And uh, so what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to put a uh, four foot or five foot uh, pipe on my chain wrench, and that'll give me the leverage that I need to actually uh, snap that uh, dust cover off to get that rotating. So this is um, after I've removed the hex head screw. So right here I put a pipe on my chain wrench because I didn't have enough leverage to loosen the cap there and get the rotation. So I uh, put this long pipe, it's about four or five foot long pipe on the end of my chain wrench and that gave me the leverage to break that uh, cap loose. And uh, looking at the other ones that I did here recently, I had to hammer those as well to initially get them loose. And um, they cause a little bit of external damage, but uh, these caps are about a half inch uh, thick steel and it really doesn't cause any internal damage to the threads or anything. So it's just a little cosmetic damage, but nothing really to worry about. I'm just gonna loosen up these hydraulic lines that go to the the uh, hydraulic cylinder just to release pressure so that I can get the piston out Loosen up here. This thing will pop off. Let's just paint it on there. So then we can pull this out. Get 
that's that. Set that there. And now we need to pull the piston out. So this is where I got this loose. The reason I'm loosening this and I'm not taking it off all the way is whenever I pull the piston out, I don't want it to fall onto the ground. And therefore, um, I don't. I keep the cap on. I loosen it up enough to get the piston out. But again, I don't want it to. The piston just drop to the ground. That's why I keep the cap on. Let's see. There's some stuff out of here. Fluid in there. All right, you can. So here's our piston. Pull all this out. And uh, take this inside. 